Welcome everyone to the DLG. My name is Skip and uh, I'll be right back so stick around. So I'm heading out to the Grand Canyon Caverns right now. Uh, let's see how that works out. So guys, here we are at the Grand Canyon Caverns, right there. Check out all the flags. I looked up these uh, this inn right here, Grand Canyon Inn, and uh, <laughs> it's a hundred and uh, I think it's a hundred and ten dollars a night to stay there. It's funny, everywhere I go, the last couple of days. Seems like I run into uh, dinosaurs. So the Grand Canyon Caverns, they were actually uh, discovered by Walter Peck uh, around 1900. And uh, he was actually lowered, the first one into the caverns, he was lowered down on a rope. Um, but he used to charge 25 cents uh, to lower people down into the caverns on a rope. And that's why they call it dope on a rope right here. And uh, you had to supply for 25 cents, you had to supply your own lantern. So in order to get down into these caverns, you got to come down this elevator shaft, and that's 210 feet, 21 stories, and this elevator is actually removed from an old hotel out in Phoenix. Oh, check that out. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that, guys. Oh, that's crazy. He thought he discovered silver ore along the walls, and he thought he discovered gold on the ceiling. Walter did not actually discover any of those things, and it's called this for two reasons. The first is because of its natural cathedral-like dome shape. The second reason is because we have had a number of weddings performed down here. The very first bride actually put her veil up there and threw her flowers up on that uh, ledge over there. Look at that. So this was a waterfall? They call them waterfalls, but water never actually f flowed from them since everything was uh, formed from the bottom up. But water did go. The water used to spin around like a washing machine in here. This is the longest tunnel we have in the caverns. It's 160 feet long. It took two years and 40 cases of dynamite to blast out this tunnel. I know this is hard to see, guys, but this is really interesting. breath. I know, it's a steep one. In 1962, after the Cuban Missile Crisis, President John F. Kennedy declared this cavern and several other caverns as fallout shelters. <laughs> Excuse me. And that was when a bunch of the supplies got brought down. The boxes over there are crackers and hard candy. The barrels are 17 and a half gallons of water in each barrel. Sanitation kits is basically a cardboard bucket with a toilet seat attached and medical supplies over a thousand bottles of water there and the MREs or meals ready to eat this is supposed to be enough supplies to last 2,000 people two weeks now those MREs they last for almost a hundred years something like that yeah. yeah yeah that's crazy look at this look at that guys This is called Snowball Palace. These formations took six million years to form. Wow. That's awesome. Isn't it? <laughs> Look at that. That's way down there, guys. Go ahead. This is called the Mystery Room. 318 feet below the surface at the, at the bottom there. Right, where my flashlight's at. Um, and the mystery is where do we get our air? In 1958, we set off a bunch of red smoke bombs in the back of this room. We waited for it to come out the other side. Um, two weeks later, we got a call from the Grand Canyon. 
asking why is there red smoke coming out of the Grand Canyon walls. <laughs> so it turns out that the air does uh, travel through all the cracks and crevices. Yeah. Grand Canyon's what, 50 miles away from here? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, he can't see him. You want me to shine? Yeah. Good grief. <laughs> There somewhere? There was. It uh, fell out when they did the dynamite, um, uh -huh. and we have it in a display case on the surface. So this is a giant sloth, basically, and it fell through that opening right there and then tried to claw its way out. Look at the claw marks. Now, the original sloth uh, is in a museum, is that right? It's in a university. University? In Tucson, yes. And they're the ones who made us this replica. So check this out, guys. This is a hotel room all the way down here in this cave. Isn't this wild? little microwave there. It's $800 a night. Craziest hotel room in America, probably. And right behind the television there is where the bathroom and shower is. And she was telling me that uh, uh, the toilet, you can flush it a maximum of six times. <laughs> it's crazy. This beautiful stage right here that they built. And we're going to have concerts down here, but the uh, state wouldn't allow it uh, because of the uh, ADA and exit requirements. And these seats, these are fun. These seats actually came out of a hotel, I mean out of a theater in uh, Hollywood that was being torn down, and they date back all the way to the 50s. Uh, famous celebrities, including Marilyn Monroe, sat in some of these seats. So guys, I just did the Grand Canyon Caverns tour with uh, Justine. Uh, great little tour guide. She's only been doing it for a couple of months, and uh, she was excellent. Got a lot of amazing information. What a fun day this has been so far. Check out my buddy there, the dinosaur. Check that out. <laughs> so this is the story of my life, guys. She's ignoring me. Unbelievable. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time right here on the DLG. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you real soon. Corvette. 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 Corvette, Corvette, Honda, Corvette, Corvette, Corvette.